Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to do a painting of two Australian sulphur crested cockatoos sitting in a tree. So as you can see here, I'm drawing in their outlines with my uh, pencil and I'm going to do them sitting, two birds sitting on a tree together and one of them sort of leaning down and chewing on a branch and the other one's just sitting up and watching. So I'm just going to finish off this drawing, get the proportions where I want them, pop the tree branches in, get everything where I want it and then I'll start to add the watercolour. So now I'm going to wet the background and I'm just going to add the sky in. So I'm wetting the whole whole background around the tree and around the birds just with clean water and I'll drop cobalt blue in and just fill the whole sky in that way and just let the water run and take the, the, the watercolour around and it'll yeah it'd be a nice little backdrop for these birds. Now I'm going in and I'm adding uh, the colour to the branches. So I've wet the branches down and I'm dropping yellow ochre and a bit of burnt sienna onto the branches and just letting it flow into each other. And that creates like this effect of an Australian snow gum, which is what these birds are sitting on. So, and I just add a little bit of uh, burnt sienna, a little bit of burnt umber and yellow ochre and just let it all run into each other and it creates a beautiful soft effect for the branch of the tree or the branches of the trees. Now I add the yellow on the crests of these cockatoos because they're sulphur crested cockatoos so they've got golden crests on the back of their head which they flare out. Um, at the moment these guys are just resting so their crests are, are closed into just like one little plume but when they open them out they have quite a crown of, of golden feathers which is really quite beautiful. So then I cover their beaks in grey and I start to add just clean water all across the birds and a little bit of a blue grey mix of burnt umber cobalt blue just to anywhere that's going to be in shadow because these birds are mainly white so I just want tints of colour here and there just to suggest feathers and suggest shadows so I mainly use a little bit of burnt umber cobalt blue for a very pale grey and I use that for both of the birds in all of their shadow areas. Now I refine the beaks and the eyes a little bit more and I use cobalt blue and burnt umber in a thicker consistency and then I go, I add a little bit of indigo and burnt umber to the shadow areas on both birds and that creates a beautiful bluey grey and I use that under the wings, under the belly of the other bird and then I start to uh, define the feathers more and the shadow areas on both birds and I go in with a little bit of pure indigo and then I damp it out with a, a, a clean wet brush and just spread it around and I drop a little bit of indigo in as well and that just let that flow and that creates just feather texture in the shadow areas.
Then I start to add the detail to their feet and I use a little bit of Payne's Grey and I have it really watered down and I just add little toes in and just define a little bit more detail around the beaks and just strengthen that colour a little bit more. Adding some shadows under these two birds and I'm using um, some purple that I've mixed with blue and red and I've used cobalt blue, a little bit of indigo blue and cadmium red and I've just dragged that around and I've added that to the back branch so it appears a bit more distance. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. I've had an absolute ball creating this piece for you. I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and I also have a Twitch channel where I create art live five days a week, Monday to Friday Australian mornings. Um, and I'll have the links below. I'd love it if you'd follow me across there. I'll also have the links to my Twitter and my Instagram. And yeah, I'd love to see everyone's art. So if you pop a follow over there as well, that'd be awesome. And I shall see you guys for the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okie doke. Bye.